And then... Oh my gosh, where am I? Alright. Don't I I was trying to get back through the water to escape the chasers that go through walls. Did not succeed. Oh well. We got access to the sun tower now. Let's figure out what we want to do. Oh, we locked down gravity, gravity beam, but not spell. That's funny. Giant vegan. Photographer with flame barrier. Yeah. I mean, this is a great way to find bosses and murder them. Why not? Alright. We have all the equipment we can buy now. I don't have enough ore for some of these. That's good, no. Alright. Lethal hazard... Yeah, so I have um, burdens that increase the damage of hazards. So, yeah. So as you get to New Game Plus, you can increase all the burdens. Not only are it plus 23, so everything's like just stronger naturally, but Burden of Ruin, hazard damage is plus 120%. So, yeah, those hazards are... The Dragon Lancer is my mortal enemy of the game. I can't play it well for the life of me. You're not alone. Yeah, we're all maxed out there. Here we have Gilded Weapon. We have quite a few things. All right, it looks like it... So let's see. I just want to make sure we have it maxed out everywhere here. All right, cool beans. Since that's maxed out, I am going to go here and turn all my blood into ore. Because I don't need either. Conversion. There you are. Now I have no either and a lot of ore. Alright. Ammonite to plus nine. That sounds good. Alright. Drowned. Sanguine to plus nine. We have Guild Weapon, and that's it. There we are. And we have no purchases left. Sounds good. We did what we needed to do. Alright. We have Cartographer. We're gonna... I think we go kill Enoch. Bugilus is not the best for Enoch, but Flame Barrier is. Oh. So either we're right next to Enoch, or we're right next to some good gold and the boss. We're going to find out. Because the boss will give us a treasure chest. Alright, nope, we're way up here. Okay. Okay. Not worth the risk right now. We're going to focus heading north. Alright. Both bosses are down to the left. We have some nice question marks, and otherwise, it's just a long way up. Got it. Alright. Hello? Ah. Seems to me that for the most part, a mix of Drown slash Leviathan seems the best overall gear to mix for general gameplay. Unless you roll an int or other int based. I will state that I I do intelligence builds. Um, I think they're just as viable as strength builds, if not more so. But you need to know what you're doing, and a lot of people do not spend their mana effectively, to put simply. Also, we die in one hit now, because of how much damage things deal. Oh my gosh. Strength slash vitality feels appealing. Yes, it is for most people, because it's just, it's 
I, instead of having to manage resources, I'm just, I have general stats for the game. I have already used my revive, I'm already low on health. Not in a good spot. Alright, so you can actually use shield block because it says lose no health, not don't get hit. Because a perfect block prevents the damage. But yeah, strength plus vitality is definitely what a lot of people do. Um, armor is also pretty good for a long while. There comes a point where armor just doesn't give its return investment, but until that point, it's also really good. Yeah. That's what it felt like. It was just a lot. All right. So we're here, so we have to go down for those fights. I don't have the combo kill attack, but I have survivability. Alright, so right there. So this would just be... Alright, so there's a question mark right above us. I do want to check that out real fast. Nope, we're done with that question mark. Alright, boss fights are below. So we're down and it's to our left. I definitely don't spend my mana wisely when playing mage, even though I do like the class. I usually lock the mage with prismatic when I'm in the mage mood. Yep. Mage plus the right spell is pretty fantastic. Oh, I was in that big room. So now it's to the left. Alright. With Shield Bash, I think I go for this. I'm not doing speedrun style, so we're gonna actually destroy all the objects along the way, get myself some money, an opportunity at um, any meat or potions. That's what I like about games like this. There's no one way to play, but there's still generalized strategies. Yep. Um, even in speedruns, um, we've had different thoughts about which is faster. And a lot of times, it just kind of ends up being dependent on the situation you're in. Okay. And bash. Why well, I like shield bash. It's a nice gouge L3 card. Ooh. Have shield bash back. Always good. thing to the punch to get rid of this, but I I chose survivability over it, so that's a consequence. Ooh, gonna be a bit of a long fight just because of that. Hey, Swanky Bat, how's it going? Um, as I did say beforehand, um, I am spo going to be spoiling you a lot about the game. Go look and spoil it. I gotta watch the schmooze for next time. Have a great stream. Yeah, thank you very much. Again, I don't. If you don't want to get spoiled, feel free to just get <laughs> out. I'm okay with that. Uh, uh, but yeah, thank you for coming by, Swanky Bat. I do appreciate it. Even Shovel Knight was like that because of the Chantrance fight. I've seen every other Knight run. Half the time I forget even I have a talent when playing one. Yep. I use the... I abuse the invincibility theme with, um... 
Shovel Knight. The ability to just, like, spend a little mana and get iframes is just so powerful. Oof. Watch your speed runs of this. I gotta say, I manage perfect block once every other night run. Half the time I forget you even have the talent when playing one. Yep. A lot of people do. New game plus Shovel Knight, Phase Locket is your best friend because dealing with double damage and less checkpoints, it's preferred you die less. Yep. Makes sense. Makes sense. Alright. Now if I find this boss, I might just die to it, but you know what? You only live once, and I'm already nearly dead anyway, so you'll, uh... Would not recommend that statement in most cases, but when your life is forfeit anyways... I mean, hey. But yeah, since your life is not forfeit, I do not recommend people who say it unironically. Let me put it that way. your you know what I might have to do that to survive now I have the night deck. I think this is actually better with boxer because I could because it recharges after throwing enough punches and if there's anything boxers good at it's throwing a lot of punches all right so we just need to go left and up That was an easy room. Ooh. All right, from here, up and left, then up and right. Ooh. From here, it's up and right, but I... Oh, here we are. Alright, found ya. We're at full health, and we have full meditation studies. So it might be worthwhile going to... Ooh, I have my idea. I'm gonna go to back to the main castle. I'm gonna head down to unlock the entrance to the Pyshen Dry Lake. The return of the Phasing Boxer, number one... It and in his league since he beats all his opponents inside out, literally. <laughs> Alright. So we're going down, right, down. Alright. Down, right. Down. Alright. I don't really have a plan. One target off. Because I didn't have a plan. Note to yourself, have a plan. Boxer feels really polarizing to me. Amazing how most bosses, average to meh gets regular enemies and exploring. Definitely have to take advantage of the fact that Boxer... Um, I don't have Voltaic Serpent revealed? Huh. Good to know. Yeah, damage aura around the boxer, but yeah. No, um, in case you're wondering, in speedruns, boxer is specifically used for certain boss fights. 
Um, exploration is taken care of by the knight. Chef overall felt amazing. Yep. Especially with the... Yeah, the burn is absolutely insane with Chef. Yeah, Chef is constantly seen as a fav... Is seen as a favorite amongst many people's players. Right off, glad to, to catch up. Hope you have fun. You too, man. Hope to see you in another stream. Another day. Alright. So right there, we are here. Oh, that means to our left is a free... Is a chest. Nice. And to the left of this is a free relic. Damage, everyone. We now officially have a damage output. That's really good. It's really good to be capable of dealing damage. That is not a friendly room. Yeah, you could keep that chest. I'm gonna let you go. Oh, actually, hold up. Hold up. We have talents. Aha! That chest is mine. Locked. Oop. Good meat. Just fights your quits and you're home free. Yep, basically. Suddenly, the lack of damage is no longer an issue. We're not going for trials right now. I mean, given that we have super crits, that sounds happy. Alright. Down, right. Alright, down, right, down, right. Got it. Here is back online. Max health. All right. So you ready for some stupidness? If you jump while triggering it, you get your jump. That's stupidness right there. But stupidness that the system respects. So if you ever want to do that easily, just jump first. Wow. That was... I'm not sure I could have done something worse. It was even... Like, it was an easy-to-avoid enemy that had armor destruction. Well, that is some stupidness I do not respect. I'm glad you respect the rest of my stupidness, though. After all, that's what your comment implies. Alright. Yo. Delicious pizza. All my money. Take it. Now. Ugh. I got that puzzle yesterday by Dry Lake, so the barrels were explosive. <laughs> Yep. Very scary. I'm invisible. I just can't deal damage to you, right? I'm not dealing damage to you, am I? It auto canceled it. There we are. Like I said, we got damage. We got damage now. Gosh, my throat hurts. 
It's been a while since I've talked like this, I guess. Oh, right. You can't. You have to jump. Uh, I don't know how I'm supposed to fight this phase right now. Because I just catch on fire and I run. Because I... Oops. Yeah, as a pugilist, this fight seems pretty poor. No! Sometimes I hit the stealth button and it just immediately de decloaks. And I have no control over that. It's a good thing I have an intelligence build or else this would take forever. Which, yes, this is what it looks like as an intelligence build because. These have a lot of health when you have plus three stats to them. We'll worry about that cloak in a bit. I think we could take more than one or more hits. Oops. Yeah, we're just gonna let Burn do the job because we're intelligence. Would you consider the boxing bell unnecessary overkill for you? Not only that, not really useful because I'm an intelligence based build and boxing bell is only gonna increase my strength. In other builds, boxing bell could be useful if I still had my um, boxer talent. The extra um, KO actually is valuable. But as I am a boxer without whose damage is coming from burn and flame barrier that lacks a strength score because I'm an intelligence build, um, boxing bell just actually, it's not overkill, it's not worth. It's actually not worth. The cost is just too great. Because um, Boxing Bell, I think, costs 40 resolve. And. I've just. There's no point spending 40 resolve for the damage it's going to do. Oh, hi. Blank. Didn't feel like a blank. Felt like a live round. these just want to make sure because I know there was one update where they added more gonna climb the tower forget all of this other stuff it's also vex voltaic I believe so um voltaic with your weapon I think all I think anything that's not directly declared to you strength uses magic so yeah that relic that grants magic break would be pretty good now. 
That's a good one. That is a good one. All right. So let's see. We're one here. So if I need to go up one, two, three, four, or yeah, one, two, three, the fourth. Yeah. So the fourth room I want to pop into. Just check what it has to offer. So this is one. I'm doing that to just keep myself safe. That's two. Be patient. But yeah, armor bro magic break would be great. This should be three. Wait. I'm just going to confirm. Alright. Yep. So I think it's one more up and we get another question we get a question mark. I think that was that below me. We'll pop in here. Yeah, I think I accidentally went too high up. Yep, I'm in this one right now. There's a fairy chest to my left. No, not with Void Dash. Not with Void Dash. Well, actually, hold up. Well, it was kind of smart. It could have worked. There we go. Right now, we're just working on the not die part of the whole situation. Intelligence increases the damage of spells, talents, and magic dealt by relics by one. Alright, cool. So this skeleton will take. Alright. So here, it's all, right, it's all the way at the top, but we have one little room on, along the way. Whoop. Stay under. Now we go kill the slug. Alright, I think I go two up. Yep, one, two. I believe one's here. Yep, there's one. So, next one up. I want to pop in, just see what it has to offer. Hey, Sticky Fingers 5. Um, my favorite class, I think just by... D it's kind of forced to be the knight because of how often I have to use it for my speedruns. Um, that being said, like, that doesn't mean, like, if you don't play the knight, you're fair. Like, this is pretty well-balanced classes. Most classes are good. So, I also, like, the mage just has the uniqueness it applies. Um, yeah, just kind of whatever surf theme um ooh. sorry I'm focusing on not dying right now let me go a bit more up or not I thought we need to go up I guess this is it not dead not dead that's what's important that's not what's important can I afford it no I cannot well then we just wait because once I enter this boss fight, I'm not winning this boss fight. So, for those of you who don't know, there has been. <laughs> Both classes are good. Glares angry at Dragon Lancer. <laughs> I know people who like Dragon Lancer, but they are a limited breed. They are definitely not everyone. So. For those of you who don't want to get spoiled, avert your eyes. Good late evening. How's it going, Arnold? Glad to have you here. We're about to enter Irad Prime. So this is a spoiler for a lot of you guys. There are advanced versions of each of the bosses in the game. And Irad Prime was one of the recent ones. And is that a caliber unlike any of the others before it? 
So, just want to give you that warning. We are about to get our the, our teeth handed to us in a silver platter. This is a very different boss. You don't want to get spoiled? Av avert your eyes now. You've already sorry. You've already spoiled. Just you, we're not done spoiling, so. Too. So I Oop. Oop. And now here comes wave three, which I think this is the last wave. This is a pretty chill one as well. And we're back at full health thanks to all the kills. We're doing that just to play it safe. Hopefully we get that back with the time we need it. Um, what's your PB on Rogue Legacy? I think it's like 43 or something. I have to go check, but it's I'm second place. I'm second place in case that's what you're looking for. Um, it's a good time, it's just, you know, not the best time. Love that. Oh. oh my god, I was actually safe here. Destroy the projectiles! <laughs> Alright. I gotta I gotta listen to these questions afterwards. Right now we're dealing with IRAD Prime, so we're gonna worry about those when I'm done worrying about 30, the 32 projectiles that are coming on the screen at once. And the 16 that are already there. Yes, throw chasers. Throw chasers. Yes, this is the perfect attack. Keep doing it. I'm sure it will hit me eventually. Oh my gosh. We did that with really solid health. Uh. Alright, so my PB in Rogue Legacy. Once I pick up this chest, I can actually go check. But it's like, oof. Considering the insane difficulty jump from normal prime, from normal to prime, I rad. I can't begin to imagine what they will do with two ball prime. Yep. Or there's reason to believe there's going to be a prime version of even the final boss. All right. Credicino, how's it going? Glad to have you here. Um, what war? What would pref? Oh, which world would I prefer to live in? Um, Star Wars, Hogwarts, or Marvel? Hmm. So, theoretically, we are in the world of Star Wars. It's just, it was long ago in a galaxy far, far away, so we already live in Star Wars. Hogwarts, we also already live in. We're just not the wizards, so that's why we don't know. Um, so those two are pretty good defaults. I do, but we're, I'm thinking you're assuming, like, with all the magic, um... Marvel, I just, I'm just not willing to deal with the butster of the week every day. Um, so I don't think it's Marvel simply because there's too many common people that get hurt. I think that kind of, I'm going to have to go with the same basis for Star Wars. So I think that just kind of defaults to Hogwarts. If I'm not a wizard, that's cool. If I am a wizard, hey, there's some cool stuff I could do. And I could just, if I need to, I could just 
not skip school, be a scientist instead, and maybe I'd still be a boss without having to, like, you know, they're pretty good at making sure that those of us don't get hurt the way that in Star Wars you have to build a rebellion and in Marvel, well, people just kind of die and that's kind of an issue. So I, it has to be Hogwarts. Um, how do you know I don't, I don't think there's a category? Oh yeah, um, speedrun.com doesn't have, so yeah, just a sec. So speedrun.com has not accepted Rogue Legacy 2 as a speedrun in the game until it is fully released. Once it is fully released, they will allow us to add runs there. Until then, if you look at the, um, there, if you go to the Discord for this game, there is a RL2 speedrunning category. Um, let's see, what was the last one according to this category? So the last one submitted was definitely Mindful Line. He has the world record at 4751. I believe I had like a 53 then. If he had a 4751... Oh right, I didn't post it on here because... Right, right, right. Okay, there's another way I could check. It's gonna possibly just show up on screen. Just a sec. Let's minimize that. Oof, life split has mine recorded. It might pop up on screen. Personal best, 53.45. There we are. That, that's 50... Um, 53.45, so that's real-time, not in-game time. So in-game, that goes below 50 minutes. So that is my personal best. Um, so yeah, that puts me in second place in the world at the speedrun for this game. In case you're wondering where that sits us. That's, it's really good, but also there's not many people who run it, so it makes sense. But a lot of people don't run it because it's a really hard learning curve. We've been trying to get things like Lamech percent and level 20 percent and stuff to try to increment people into it. But like going from Lamech percent to the full speed run is quite a daunty task. I want to kind of get a Maw percent in there, but it's just like, it's hard to justify that, stuff like that. Um, Alright, so what bad world would I prefer? Alien, Terminator, or Resident Evil? So, I actually... I only really know much about... You beat Lamech in 410. Nice! Yeah, no, 410's a pretty good time. It's not world record, but it is... That's a real... I think under 5 minutes means you put some effort into doing Lamech percent. And I'm... And that's like a achievement to be proud of. But sub 5 minutes is awesome. That's... Good job, man. Um... Have I already done all the scars? Yes, I've already golded all the scars. I will do some later. Um, I was wondering if it was good, so I checked speedrun.com and it isn't there. And that's the unfortunate thing. Um, speedrun.com does not... I've tried to submit some of these things, and they've denied it. <sighs> unfortunate. I think that puts you in, like, fourth place or something like that. Um, Mindful Line has, a, has the world record in that one as well. Generally, what you do is you retire your hero instantly... And you get a character with either hollow bones or gigantism that allows you to enter Lamech's room without any heirlooms. So you just immediately enter his room and go kill him. And that's how you get it in like two minutes. Uh, unfortunately, I do not have the... I used to have all that stuff listed somewhere on my Twitch, but it just became too much for me to do. And so it's not listed there anymore. So unfortunately, I cannot tell you where you rank amongst other speedrunners. But I know sub five minutes is really awesome, and that's something to be proud of. That's all I could tell you, unfortunately. All right, so back to Credicino's question. Um, oh, y'all have to dip out. It's 1 a.m. here, and you go sleep. Yeah, definitely. Get your rest, man. Thank you for stopping by. Obviously, yeah, enjoy seeing me again. I, I plan to come back. Um, nice to see you back streaming. Thank you very much, Yarl. Thank you very much. Hope you do well. Hope you have good fr Your friends are good. I have a great time with you. All right. And to the last question, Chris, you know, what bad world would I prefer? Alien, Terminator, or Resident Evil? Whew. So Terminator is definitely a no-go because Terminator, everyone's like dies and suffers at the end of it. Like that's just default. Resident Evil, I actually do not know the world, but I don't think everyone becomes a zombie. I think it's just certain areas that become a zombie and I don't live in Raccoonsville, so... I think I'll be alright. So that might end up being it, even though there are some concerns there. Um, yeah, exactly. Terminator, Slave, or Killed is my options. Resident Evil, either, like, 
there's also the chance of dying in Resident Evil pretty horribly, but also there's the chance of completely avoiding the situation, if I'm correct. I'm pretty sure I'm wrong because, um, but because there's been, you know, eight games since the Resident Evil I know about, so they probably have it spray across the world at this point, so that could be an issue. Assuming that's not the case, Resident Evil is good. You prefer Alien because I could go to another planet to run from it? Well, that's actually why I don't prefer Alien, because the whole thing is, if we can run from it in another planet, that also means it could come to us in our... Like, I'm assuming it was our hubris that led us to finding the Alien, and then all that situation. It means that we're not alone in this world, and that's a bad thing. And that's not... So Oh, you could run from... Yeah, compared to the zombies. Okay. Yeah, I do believe a world of zombies is pretty scary. I'm not going to deny that. But compared to... Like, I think, yeah, the way I would describe it is there's always the question of are we alone in this world? Yes or no? And Alien answers that with no, and that's not a good thing, which that's already like an existential crisis in and of itself. To have it be worse is something that I don't really like. I'm going to take my I'm going to take my chances with raccoons with Resident Evil. I think would be my answer. Though Alien is not a bad guess. Terminator just definitely like it, Terminator assumes the apocalypse is happening. Like just inevitability, kind of. And I don't like that. Oof. I can't believe I left Irad with as much health as I did. Because, like, one is a monster, other is zombies, and other is machines. I will say, like, in a general sense, I'm less scared of machines than I am the other two monsters. But, um, Terminator specifically has just, like, the way in which it does machines. Mmm. Asking for the fun of it? Yeah, of course, I know it's for the fun, but... I, I like to take these things in detail, because it's fun to take things seriously. Yeah. Generally, it would be machines. I'd rather face... Like, as a programmer, I'm like... Look, machines aren't as threatening as you think they are, guys. But Terminator machines are specifically more threatening than you think they are. That's kind of the thing. So, unfortunately, Terminator is one of those few worlds where Rise of the Machine is actually terrifying. They don't rest, they don't sleep, yeah, and they also process at a much faster speed. But they also can't do human things like recognize patterns. Um, there are plenty of little gaps in the capabilities of machines that we can use to exploit to um, defeat them. All it takes is one person to figure it out, spread it across the area, and the computers are going to not be capable of adapting to the inability to recognize patterns at a pace that actually succeeds, to put simply. They do evolve, but there's limitations. Computers have to evolve the algorithm. They can't, like, evolve in ways that the algorithm cannot support. And there are certain things that you can do that break algorithms. I don't really know how to explain it otherwise, but generally speaking, I, I feel like the Skynet itself is Chernobyl to an extent, where it's like, there were so many different ways we could prevent this from ever happening, but the people involved were absolute idiots, so therefore we have it. <clears throat> and yeah, exactly. Like, Terminator specifically has those terrifying monsters. So, I'm willing to say, get away from Terminator. And yes, I take a great sword. I don't care that I lose my combo potential. I have great sword. And yeah, 200 pound robot killer versus stupid green people. Mm. To be fair, um, the. The zombies in um, Resident Evil aren't stupid green people. They're a bit more than that. So... Like, I will say that 
It's like... It's... The, um, machine uprising in its worst case, or the zombie uprising in its absolute worst case, is what it feels like. And... Hmm. Like, if we can isolate the aliens, if the aliens... If we can prevent the aliens from coming to Earth pretty effectively, or otherwise deal with them, I could see... I could see that, but... Like, again, I will state I do not watch... I do not play too many horror games. I do not watch many horror movies. So I actually know quite very little about these. Even though, um... I know Alien is popular. and all that stuff. All of the zombies are just Mr. X. Okay, suddenly... <laughs> uh, yeah. Alright. But you see in the last one with... Um, the Skynet did that because they got... Kill her, so Sky did, did not die, so it's like loop. Yep. Alright. So we're gonna do this without cheating with the jump. I messed up. Yeah, I messed up. I kicked out that door and then I let myself hit the ground without using my dash. And yeah, I, I'm pretty good at avoiding crowds, so... I'll stick with zombies for now. I could be convinced of the alien, but I don't think I could be convinced of Skynet and um, Terminator. Good question. I like those are those hypotheticals are fun if nothing else. I just wish I I watched more TV so I could actually participate more effectively. I don't choose is Silent Hill because Silent Hill gonna follow you out forever. Yeah. Silent Hill is a horror of a person, not of a world. Like, Silent Hill is a story about a person who's gone mad, who has problems. Not the story of a world that has problems. So if you, like, Silent Hill's world is fine, assuming you're not the main character of the Silent Hill game. If you are the main character, well, Welcome to hell. It's your world, so you gotta live with it. Magic break seems pretty nice. I think we were just talking about this earlier. Hold up. Before I face this boss, there's an apple that needs to be eaten. So you might be like, oh my gosh, your health is nothing. How would you do that to yourself? I have full set of meditation studies. The moment I enter this boss fight, we get a full heal. So we're gonna be good. I just realized we don't really look like a boxer anymore now, do we?
Yeah, I did I rad first. Yes, I did. Sometimes I actually kill two ball as my first boss when I did the new game pluses. It's just nice. Um, when you're in New Game Plus, really the order is just which area you want to go into first, less than it is which area is more dangerous, you know? Honestly, I might go to kill 2 Ball now. This is a pretty good character for it. It's even a boxer, so it has elusive. Yeah. The burn's gonna be nice on the mooks. The only thing that's bad is the spell. Alright. Yeah, let's go into Vish Paishin. Whew. Do you know if anyone has done all bosses and all bosses hitless run? I do know, and the answer is no. Two balls crazy. Oh, hold up. Do you mean from level one or from like a new game plus one? Because like I will state, it should not be hard to do all bosses hitless when you have a New Game Plus 30 character and then bring them out down to New Game Plus 0. That's easy. New Game Plus 0, level 1. Um, Mindful Line is the person who does that, and it took him a lot of work to just beat 2-Ball once at level 1. 2-Ball level 1 is not easy. Let me just be frank about that. Alright, so there's the boss. Alright, hold up. So, we have storage room here. Cool. So, that's storage. This is Onyx Key. So, we have Onyx Key here. And the boss there. So, that's cool. So, we can actually go right... Okay, cool. So, we just decide which of these feels safer. It's kind of funny. I can see that the comment has appeared on my stream before I could actually see it in my little chat box. So, no... Stern Ernan and Koi. I I'm gonna have some issue pronouncing that name, but Stern. Super excited to catch a stream. Your runs in this game have been a huge inspiration for me. I'm just about to wrap up my new game plus one run, probably tonight or two tomorrow. Awesome man, glad to hear it. Yeah, I I didn't stream at all um last month, so there's that's the reason you weren't able to catch my streams, just to be blunt. Um I'm still trying to figure that star stuff out right now, but hopefully I should start streaming again a lot more. Um not as much as I used to. I used to do it six days a week, and that's just not going to be a future for this. Alright. Hey, I did it perfect, I think. Yep. How's it going, Ace Lock? Glad to have you here. We are just doing New Game Plus to chill and get myself back into streaming. Been a long time. Oop. Okay, shield needs to die now. Despite what it looks like, we are a boxer, which is why I was able to dash through that character when I did. Alright, I ain't going down. Alright, we got this. So now we go down and we head back. I'm pretty sure I got hit by the same guy, like the exact same enemy. And this time we go down here. And we are there. Ooh, no. I guess not. Thought there was an extra connector than there actually was. <sighs> hmm. Get your PB to an hour 14? Nice. Glad to hear you're improving, man. Yeah, I haven't played since I stopped streaming, so... I haven't done a run since the last time I did a run, I guess. Alright. Down, right. Whoop. No, we're gonna stick with my weapon. Well, you have sword. Why switch to anything inferior? Still not very good in the fish and dry lake area? Most aren't. Well, yeah, I guess you're being an exception from most, but yeah, no, Paishin is scary. No doubt about it. Are there any big glitches for speedruns? No, um, because this is, since we started running during, um, 
during beta, any big glitches, we basically told them so that they could patch out. So there's no big glitches in this run because of that effect. There are um, system abuses to an extent. There are hero retirings at certain points that really help. Um, we constantly, if we're in a bad spot, we can just return to main menu and we teleport back to the entrance, which is always good. And the boxer is used for the final boss because the boxer is just built in a lot of ways that makes it easy, that makes the final boss a lot easier. I don't know how else to explain it than that. Um, if you watch a video, you can see us like we're fighting inside the boss effectively, and then they spawn their mooks and we immediately blow them up. Or at least that's the intent. Sometimes you miss your punch and you're in trouble, but. Not sure if I be, sh should be using Knight or Boxer and Paishin. You should be using Boxer for the Onyx Key boss and um, Two Ball boss. You can use Boxer for um, the Pearl Lake as well as Exploration. Like, the Boxer is good the moment you enter Paishin. So if you want to use it that early, um, Boxer can work. Also, Knight can work. They both are good. But once you get the doors unlocked and you need to beat Onyx and you need to beat Two Ball, you need Boxer. Before that, you can use either. I do. I personally believe Boxer is better because there's enough enemies that you can just walk straight through. That makes it worth the while. Oh, I don't have platforms because of my relic. Thank you, relic. We're leaving. Oh, we're leaving that corner. Almost. Cool. But this boss, if you have your punches, you can knock them into a wall and basically slaughter them. But yeah, the, the entire Paishin still takes work, man. When the devs reacted to your run, were you shocked? I wasn't shocked when the devs reacted to my run. I got shocked when I had less than 50, when I had less than 50 followers and IGN contacted me. That's where the shock came in, to be honest. Um, I was happy when they reacted to my run, but I was told two months in advance. They made sure I knew. I was super happy. I'm super proud of it. Um, I wish I had a better run to show them, but I thought that was a fun run to show them nonetheless. It was a lot of fun to do. It was a lot of fun. Like, I enjoyed it. I was very happy, but shocked doesn't really count when you know a month in advance. Alright, so where's your key? Oh, there's your key. Got it. Alright, so we need to go down, right, and up. But yeah, thank you for asking. I, I still have that... I still have, like, a devs react... Um, speedrunner reacts to devs reacts to on my channel. Don't think it was the best video, but it was still a fun video to do. Oop, get out. Remember, I have a theme so that traps deal 120% damage. Those bombs deal significant amounts of damage. I am very proud. Yeah, no, no, I am super, I was super happy when I saw that I was on that. Like, I am very proud of myself. Um, but, yeah, shocked was not how I would describe it, because, like, as, again, I was super, like, I was shocked when I got contacted, because at the time, as I said, I had less than 50, like, I could not, if I wanted to become an affiliate, I couldn't even do that. To then get contacted by IGN, a big theme with, like, millions, like, it was insane. Oof. I was still, like, getting used to streaming, and all of a sudden I'm getting contacted about be part of a project. Like that. Yeah, I'm, I'm still very proud. I'm still very happy that I was contacted, and really appreciative of the opportunity I was given. Ah. Uh. Alright, we have to go left here. We can't go... Alright. Shadow Clone Jutsu! 
Aha! Ow! But like, for example, um, you notice I found the- uh, So I'll show- once I'm done with this fight, I will just teleport straight to the boss, because... I can. Sword is nearly dead. Let's finish it off. And I gave it Healy because of my life still roots. Well, as long as the sword's way over in that corner. Yep. Do you have thoughts on the changes to Irad's attack pattern? Are you talking about the Prime or the original? Um, either way, not really. I have not had enough experience to argue one over the other. Original. So, was the changes recent? Because if, if it was recent, I haven't had a chance to test it. But anyways, quick cop trick. I was way over in there. I just returned to main menu. Now I'm here. There's a teleport to Tabal right there. So that's the tr that's the speedrunner trick. So I skipped all the backtracking. And I'm in the boss fight. So unfortunately I have no opinions. I have not... So I think I'm going to go um, explore Kerguelen Plateau a little bit before I face Two Ball. But yeah, I'm... Blue Fireball attack was changed. Huh. Again, I do not have experience with this, unfortunately. Alright, so we're right there. That's up there. We have a lily there and there. So we have two lilies here, so we can just grab those two at the top. So we're just heading up basically. Wow, there's no connector, right? Not sure if you guys see this. No connector between um, this bob half. So, like, the only way to get to the right over here, you have to go up and left. So, yeah, we'll go up left. We'll grab these two lilies over at the top left. And then we'll work our way to Nama. Messed me up a bunch, but I think it's technically supposed to be easier. Good to know. Alright, so we're going up and left to start. Yeah, I haven't tried the new, the, um, IRAD itself since I stopped playing the game, which was in Christmas, so, unfortunately can't comment on that. Alright, so we're in this. Hey, free treasure chest. Yeah, if it's e I could see it being easier because like it took it takes work to learn how to avoid it. Might have been the Christmas patch, huh? How's it going, Cyberbell? I'm glad to have you back, and also glad to be back. Okay, we're not going for that fairy. Yes, we are. Yay, invincibility! All right. I have decided I am now a knight. It's, yeah, last time I streamed was, um, like, December 22nd or something like that. So, yeah, it's been, yeah, maybe a few, it's been a full month. Um. Ooh. 
Ooh. Wargs are scary. Even as a speedrunner, wargs are scary. They used to be scarier, and then we told them that, hey, even as a speedrunner, I can't handle wargs. And so they're like, okay, if even the speedrunners are having trouble, everyone's having trouble. So they nerfed it a bit. Counter resets if you take damage. That's new. So that must be part of the new stuff. Got it. Fireballs go a straight pattern occasionally instead of a spiral. Huh. Wait, that sounds like they have an additional attack. Because if it's occasionally, then that's just an additional attack. That doesn't make things easier, that gives it more complexity. You lie to me. Yep. Empty vessel. That is good to know. Think they took away one of the spirals, though? Huh. I'll have to see it for myself, to put simply. Because, as you said yourself, it seems harder for you, but that might be just because you have the muscle memory for the original. Oh. Hey. Thanks. I will say, this lightning just popping open doors is pretty great. It's pretty nice. By the way, you, in case you didn't see that, that's how you get the lilies without the double jump. Um, other than this lily right here, you can get the other two lilies without double jump. That's why they had to change, resort to changing the maw to actually just being unreachable without double jump. Because what kept happening is people kept getting the lilies without said double jump and not realizing there was double jump that they could get cross to the far shores. And you know, when you lose the double jump air lube, you lose quite a bit. Um, the wings change I do remember. The wings change is awesome. I can't really use it, but it's an awesome change. I'm not... Whoop. I'm not good with the wings change. I can't remember what telescope was. Oh, that was the distance matters. Right, right. I remember telescope change. Yeah, I, I, when I first was experimenting with it, trying to figure out what it was, I lost a run because of it. I remember that. Because <laughs> I'm like, ooh, what does this do? And I was playing a melee character. And I got a spell. And now I got increased damage from people at a distance. <laughs> uh. Now have both bosses open. And I'm gonna face two ball first, I think. I have cartographer with I think two ball is harder to find and is easier to face with this sort of character. Because remember, we're still boxer. While we lo while we look like a knight, we are actually a boxer. Which means we could just stand inside of two ball. Much like <laughs> We are going to stand. We are going to punish Two Ball for going inside the dragon by going inside Two Ball, make him get a taste of his own medicine, and see how disgusting my feet are. Yeah, the ability to go inside two ball in this boss fight is quite valuable for speedruns. Gives you a lot of mobility and like attacks like that can't even hit you. Especially with fire shield. Yeah, especially with flame barrier. Flame barrier just makes it even easier. Ah, uh, that was the perfect example of Boxer with Flame Barrier, the absolute premium in speedruns. Now, usually we're using fists, so we're floating in the air. 
But nonetheless, we did our job. Oh, also with those changes, there's another major, one of the most important changes they did came in that. You ready? You know how you can actually physically pet the dragon. Look at that. Petting dragon. They added they added a specific animation just for petting the dragon. In other words, this is a 10 out of 10 game. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Is there a method for getting Enoch's insight while speedrunning? No. Um, Enoch's insight is actually probably the one of the worst to get. I think if you stumble into it with all the necessary relic heirlooms, it's okay. It's not net positive, but it's also not net negative. But the vast majority of those insights, believe it or not, are not... The amount of time it takes... If you are facing the bosses optimally, then the amount of time it takes to get the insight costs more than the amount of time it saves in killing the boss 15% faster. Even the Maw's insight, which is right next to a teleport, ends up being not worth the time loss of teleporting there. How insane is that? Of course, this is all assumes optimal. Even I have unoptimal routes routing, so it's good to have that. How's it going, Superfeels? Glad to have you here! Oh, just really quick. Um, Superfeels is an awesome dude. I watch a lot of his stuff. Um, he usually starts way later than I stay up, but just super awesome guy. Thought I should give him a quick shout out. Is my bot not working? I'm wondering if my stream bot died over the time I was gone. Alright. Well, I'm not sure. The SO, the shout out did not show up on my side, but <laughs> hopefully. Anyway, Superfeels, awesome dude. He's been playing a lot of games for fun. Yes, yeah, the thought that counts. Yep. Um, anyways, we're just chilling. We're playing some Rogue Legacy. It's been a long time since I've been doing streaming, so I'm back at it. We're killing all the bosses. We are now at... This is the last boss left for us. They're not the final boss. It's just we killed all the others. And we're going to just be blowing through it because I know what I'm doing. It's the right here part. It's the thought that counts. I love the story of this boss. Oop. Alright. Go here, shut that off all those projectiles. Let's shut off this one too while we're at it. Alright, stay away from the heart. Your love is literally suffocating. That's li literally... <laughs> oh my god, that's great. I just... Figure that out. The love is literally suffocating and locks down your movements if I'm inside of that. Ah, messed that up, but it's okay, they're dead. Have you seen the Oli Oli World game? Not yet. Um From Humble Bundle, I happen to have one of the Oli Oli worlds, but um I haven't had time to play it. I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah, it's that skate I know it's a skateboarding game. I know Oli Oli World. Apparently, like, really advances it, but I don't know much beyond that, other than I hear you recommend it a lot. You, I heard you recommend it to my brother, which means it's prob probably good. New one's coming out the 8th? Dude, awesome. Alright, so I'm just gonna be exploring and chilling, because this guy beat all the bosses, which means we have successfully unlocked new game, the next new game plus. And this character might just die right here because I'm not paying attention apparently well enough. Uh, but yeah. So for Sticky Fingers question, no, there is not a way to get Enoch's insight while speedrunning. It is often preferred that you just avoid it. Like, finding that room is a penalty. But, um, yeah. And Super Feels, yeah. Feel free to catch his streams. He usually streams much later than I do, so if you guys stay up late, he is the perfect person. Like... If we end up going long enough, we might just raid Superfeels after. And I do need to check my bot, make sure the SO works next time. All that stuff. Oof. Yeah. 
yeah. I hope it's going well, man. Are you going to start a new character when the final boss comes out, or just do it on new game? Yeah, I'm going to just completely start um, a file from from the beginning of the game, and um, do it from there. Is there any question marks? All right, so there's a question mark there that could be valuable. So, well, I guess we're actually going to the heirloom to teleport back because there's a gap. All right, there's a trust over in this corner. Boop. I don't like shields, so being surrounded by them is very uncomfortable because shields have no knockback when I hit them. But yeah, I'm going to be... Usually what happens is the moment a new um, a new patch drops, I do a, the first thing I do is a speedrun completely ignorant to all the changes. Once I'm done with that speedrun, then I go through and see all the changes for what they are. That is usually how my routine works for new patches. And on full release, I see no reason to change it. Unless I want to add more hype, not with less info, not less in, not more info. Ooh. All right, we are there. So we have a, for those who don't know, I have a trait called Cartographer, which makes it so I have the full map, but I don't see my own um, location on the map, so I have to memorize where I am, basically, or get a sense from the enemies around me and as chests disappear as I pick them up. <coughs> Sorry, that was a bad cough in my throat suddenly. Is Rogue Legacy one of the original roguelite games? So, not roguelike, road, roguelite. I'm pretty sure ro the original Rogue Legacy back in 2013 is what pop popularized the idea of a roguelite. Because it has so many rogue elements, but it's the first one where all the, um, all the progression happens outside. You see my character is level 15, 1587. You, could, you only level up after dying. Everything you get after death, um, everything is about leveling up after death, not bef not prior. So... Alright, I don't... There's no cool question marks in this area, so we're gonna head... Check Stigian Study, I think. Um... Yeah, so ro the original Rogue Legacy in 2013 is like the original roguelike. Like Dead Cells, but I would say more light elements. Um, the process of leveling is actually quite more severe. You can actually... the di How do I say this? The concept that um, they had in mind, apparently they were inspired by Dark Souls, because they liked the challenge that you could learn to evolve to. But they had the idea of the death and recovery mechanic is a way so that no matter how bad you are, you can complete the game because they want more people to complete the game. So, um, it is, yeah, it, it's like Dead Cells. I would say it was the first one to make the rogue lights where you level up between and therefore it's far more severe in those elements. Those elements have a lot more impact in the game than in other rogue lights. Oh, right. <laughs> I don't have hit, hit targeting. Um, I want to try it because I love games like Isaac. Um, yeah, so... Binding of Isaac is... Yeah, I, I will... I mean, I'm here because I love this game. I'm going to... Like, I'm going to recommend this game. I'm not sure if I... Would co it is a roguelike. I would question why you like Isaac. Because I will say something that's different than something like Isaac or... Um, or if you played... Um, Hades, where those you you make your build on the fly. With this, you figure out what your build is prior to basically um, entering the battle. Like, you get an option of three builds, and you decide which one you're going to take into the castle next time. And, and like, there is upgrades as you get along, but it's a lot less severe. Um, so, like... You can see, I beat the entire game with this character. This is New Game Plus 23, I know what I'm doing. You can see there's a huge array. Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 different upgrades I found along the way. That that took me going through the entire world, basically. 
And what's the equip? What's the equivalent? Six percent more damage, ten percent more spell crit. A way to do armor break. A way to do burn. I will state the way to do burn is a huge change of my um, traits. Um, but generally, like my main mechanics haven't. Okay, never mind. The blessing of the challenge did change my mechanics quite significantly, but. My first roguelike is my life, and it's permadeath. Hey, I heard about that. I'm playing that too. I'm not doing so well right now, but I'm sure it'll, I'm sure it gets better at the late game. That's why I hear like the super late game apparently is pretty chill. <laughs> but like, just getting there, man. Oof, oof. <laughs> More at voice. My life. Uh, the graphics. Are, oh yeah, the graphics are like next gen, and like it. Dude, it's such an old game, and its graphics are so good for how old it is, man. Like, that will be the one thing. No matter what you say about life, its graphics are impressive. Um, movement is way smoother in Rogue Legacy 2 than Isaac, but I'm not sure. Yeah, so, I would just say that Isaac's movement is just... Isaac's movement is different. Um, it's the difference of... <laughs> this is a horrible comparison. But by of Isaac has movement like Legend of Zelda, and Rogue Legacy has movement like Legend of Zelda 2. <laughs> That's a horrible way of phrasing that, but it's kind of accurate. Um, I will say that, yeah, um, Binding of Isaac speedruns are more focused on getting the right elements to a super powerful build, where Rogue Legacy speedruns are more about perfecting your movement, getting all that stuff. I love Legend of Zelda 2, yeah. You know what? Like, I'm going to say it's less Dark Souls-y. It's less, um, if you make the wrong move, you get punished. But it is, um... It maintains the kind of difficulty where you have to figure things out as you go. As I said, um, the original Rogue Legacy actually had no idea about Rogue Likes and built its difficulty curve because they the developers like Dark Souls. So... That should be all the, all the things you need to know about kind of the appeal of, like, where the appeal of the original Rogue Legacy came from. They don't have the budget of Dark Souls. They're an indie team. I think when they made the original Rogue Legacy, they were like five people. They've grown since then. But, yeah, they're still an indie team. There are limitations to their strength, but it is an awesome game, and I can't recommend it highly enough. All right, we're going to keep this. Depart this world, increase your current gold by 35%. Hey, how's it going, hater? Glad to have you here. Yep. <clears throat> so, for those who don't know, I I stopped streaming um, for about a month now. So, just got back. Seeing how everything feels. Apparently, my bot disabled itself. So, gotta keep that in mind. So, we have a question mark there. If that's a Hyperion's ring, then we are happy, happy, happy. Oop. Break that. But yeah. I think that is one thing that as you were talking about by of Isaac. Isaac is more focused on combat, where this game is more focused on movement. And I think is a good way of saying it. Ooh. We're gonna use that. There we go. Love my shield dashes. I noticed late, but I checked your Twitch a few days ago. Yep. Glad to see- yeah, that's one of the things that I just find completely amazing, but also, like, just insane that as I was gone for a month, I gained, like, 20 followers. Like, that was just, like, what? Like, I knew my YouTube channel matters, but that was just, okay. I guess people like that, like this. I guess I'm- I guess this is a service people appreciate. That was- like, during my time, I was trying to figure out some stuff, and that was definitely one of the great things to learn, that people like this content. Depart the world? Um, yeah, I've just kind of played around right now. There is the book. It might give me a Hyperion's Ring, and a Hyperion's Ring makes departing the world a lot safer, if you don't know the little trick of Hyperion's Ring. Let's look for Hyperion's. Nope. Wardrum would be insane. Let's see, it can be... One, two, three. It'd give me plus 60% damage. Not many people will make, um, make Rogue Legacy 2 content. Alright, I don't know the trick. So, 
Hyperion's Reign makes it so that the next lethal hit is prevented. It it prevents the next fatal blow and then puts revives you at half health, but then it destroys it. Departing the world is considered a lethal blow. That's how it works mechanically. Therefore, if you depart this world with Hyperion's Reign, you immediately um, revive at half health. And it uses the Reign, you get the money, but you're still you still get to play around and fight. And with Hyperion, with the uh, depart this world, with this um, area complete, I think I'm gonna go depart the world now. I don't have a way to make myself. Um, I just I beat all the bosses. I did my part. MF Pop Time is pretty big on YouTube. Yes, and I believe the Marketplier. Marketplier did a few videos of this. He was also he brought a lot of people to the community. Those are the two major ones. Um, Vilks. His, on YouTube, his name is W. Sorry. Whoa. But yeah, on YouTube, his name is Dummy Legacy. He does a lot of this content. Um, he focuses on this New Game Plus level content. He's also an awesome dude in the Discord, so that I know him as Velks. Um, but yeah. Um, other than that, I guess that, that leaves me and T-Lor. T-Lor is not a speed... Like, T-Lor is just there to give you your information, not to be a high-level player. Like, he will... I will say, if you're looking for just information on the game, T-Lor is a great resource. Definitely go to him. But if you're looking for a high-level play, um, that's why I'm here for. Mindful Line is the world record holder for this speedrun, but I don't think he has a YouTube channel, so there's only so many things you can do with that. But yeah, we did a lot with this life. Next rank six. Alright. 